Hey YouTube, Silver Bear here. Got uh, day two of uh, local coin shop pickups. I was looking for this coin here and uh, looked online and they're all going about $20. So I figured I could do better at the coin shop considering we live close to Canada. I can maybe find something cheaper I thought. And, uh, sure enough, here it is. Paid uh, forty. Uh, excuse me, forty. Yeah, fourteen dollars for this. So, pretty excited about that. This is a um, Canadian one dollar commemorative. It's eighty percent silver. It's a uh, eighteen. Excuse me, uh, nineteen eighty. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> It's a 1958. Holy crap. So, you've all seen this before. Anyway, while I was there, though, this is the cool part. While I was there, they um, they pulled us out of the closet that they had a bunch of old coins in. and um, Another little coin hopped out at me. When I say hopped out, I mean hopped out. Okay? <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about this. Another YouTuber by the name of uh, Fine Silver Argent Pure was saying that when he was a kid, him and the other kids thought these were lucky. And um, yeah, I'd say I'd believe that because I was lucky to to end up finding one in there. I know there's a lot of them been, that have been uh, made, but I didn't expect it. So it's not silver. Um, but it is nickel, pure nickel, which makes it magnetic. So, I've not, this is the first uh, pure magnet or excuse me, per, pure nickel coin I've ever seen. So, <clears throat> all right. Also, while I was there, real quick, I got a couple more standing liberties. These are uh, getting harder to come by. I've noticed and if you see them for under five bucks I'd say grab them if you like that kind of stuff maybe semi numismatic I guess all right and then I was looking for something unique while I was there too and this one stuck out to me and uh, and what I like about it is the tarnish is it has good tarnishing uh, I'm into that I know some people don't like it but um, this tarnish here, I don't know if you can tell it, but it highlighted, accentuated the, the vertical lines in the planchet, right? And it kind of adds a little to it. And also, it's uh, has a high relief surface here. So, give it a little shade there. All right. Now it was a toss-up between this coin and uh, one other one, but when I saw the back of it, I decided this is the one I wanted. Um, I really like that picture. It uh, seems real balanced. Let me know what you think of that, of this picture, this side of the coin. If you like it, if you don't like it. <clears throat> okay. Also, this is my first Engelhard round. Now, if anybody's seen my older videos, I have a 5-ounce and a 10-ounce Engelhard bar. But this is my first 1-ounce and my first round. So, Engelhard. I got the um, the Eagle instead of the, the E. They had a couple of them down there. and I got this one because it, well, I like it better. And also, this one seems to sell out quicker than the E. The American Prospector. It's in 1984. So, all right, those are my last of my pickups for uh, vacation silver money. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to a couple of YouTubers. Um, also, my cards should be coming out this weekend. I'll keep you posted on that. My silver card. Okay. Um, Conductive Stack is a stacker or is a YouTuber that uh, give a shout out to him. 
and I'll leave it I'll leave their um, links down below newbie 101 and uh, this guy here was kind of cool Dutch is silver dude no excuse me Dutch silver dude he um, he's from Netherlands and uh, he had some interesting stuff I'll say that uh, actually um, you know that these are all pretty good youtubers I, I enjoy their channels so I figured I'd give them a shout out um, alright well that's it thanks for watching everybody I'll talk to you later bye